Hi, Lee Phillips here. I've been doing trust for a long time as a lawyer, I mean an attorney. And uh, let me talk to you about what I'm going to call the advantages of a living revocable trust. Now, there are dozens of different types of trusts, and they each have advantages and disadvantages. We're talking about the living revocable trust that you get as part of your estate plan. It always goes with a will. You're going to have the trust and a will. We get into that in other YouTube videos. But why have a trust? Well, the answer is pretty easy. The trust is going to avoid probate. Now, there's big arguments as to whether or not probate's worth avoiding. But for the most part, yeah, I think it is. For the average American family, avoid probate. The problem is, your attorney never teaches you how to use the trust to avoid probate. That's a whole other topic. I can actually do hours on that. You've got to use the trust. Just having the piece of paper isn't enough. The trust has to be funded. That means it has to own the stocks and the bonds and the house, the cars and the boats and everything else. So <clears throat> you've got to use the trust, but it avoids probate. That saves the family a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of problems when mom and dad die. Because actually, if it is done well, the trust just, it runs smooth uh, when mom and dad die. So that's the biggest advantage. The trust is private. If you have the will and everything's probated, and if you have the bank account or someplace that you have to get mom and dad's signature to get that at that asset or to transfer that asset, you got to go through probate. So if you go through probate, that often becomes a public issue. And <clears throat> my favorite story on that was uh, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson died, and, and, and you might remember that the press was squaring off, and there was going to be a big fight between this guy and that guy, and they were in it a few days after Michael Jackson died, and it came out that he had a living revocable trust, and all the press just stopped after that. It was gone. Uh, so the trust gives you privacy that you can't get any other way, really. The trust uh, saves you the money in that you don't have to go through the probate and all of that sort of stuff. Now, there's arguments. The trust costs more up front. And if it doesn't avoid probate, if the lawyer never teaches you how to use it, yeah, I can argue you wasted your money on the trust. But if you learn how to use it, 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 it works pretty good and it actually saves money in the long run. I can set up a trust, a living trust, <coughs> that divides into two pieces when either mom or dad died, first death. And it creates a shelter trust and a marital trust. And we can get basically twice as much in the estate tax area. Uh, we can get the full... Uh, we call it exemption equivalent. Uh, it's up to $12 million. In 2026, it may go down to $6 million. I mean, it goes all over the place. But you can get a double whack at the estate plan, or not the estate plan, the estate tax. And that's pretty good, guys. Now, you're going to argue that, oh, since Obama, we can make elections on the tax return. The, we can file an estate tax return for dad. We can port the amount of unused estate tax credit that he had. We can port that over to mom. So we can do it without a trust today. If you're in a state that has a state estate tax, then you need to use the trust. Most of those don't have porting associated with them. So the trust could mean estate tax at savings for you, for the family. And that's the traditional way we've always gotten a full exemption equivalent for him and a full exemption equivalent for her. And so that works pretty good. In the case of an incapacitated individual, um, and statistically, you're all going to be incapacitated, mentally, incompetent, 90 days or longer prior to the time that you die. If there's the incompetence or just total incapacitation, then the trust allows the successor trustee to stand in and manage all of the trust assets. That means the trust has to own the assets, 
but that individual, the successor trustee, can manage all of the assets. And if the trust is written properly, we don't have to go to court and have mom declared incompetent. It will say in the trust what conditions have to be met. Uh, in the trust I've designed a lot, I have the signature of the spouse and each one of the kids and a doctor. I get those signatures on a statement that says that dad can't cut it anymore, fine. Dad's incompetent, the successor trustee, in that case it'd probably be mom, can come in and do everything. Or it could be one of the kids if, if dad's dead and mom's the one that's incompetent. So that helps us substantially. The trust is just gonna give you a lot of peace of mind. I, I did not understand this when I first started to practice law. In fact, I, I, I did a trust for an older lady. It was my secretary's mother. And we did the trust, everything happened. And then the secretary came back to me about four or five weeks later and says, what did you do to mom? What did you say to her? And I said, I don't know. And she said, mom's different. Mom is a different person. What did you do? And I've come to realize that mom was worried about what would happen if she became incompetent when she died, how the kids would fight over it, whether they'd have a big expense going to the lawyer and all that sort of stuff. And I've learned that it's worth every effort you make, every dime that you spend, just in the peace of mind. It's worth it, or for no other reason alone than that, it's, it, it's worth it. I'll guarantee that. And lawyers don't make a lot of guarantees, guys. So the trust has a lot of advantages, has some disadvantages, primarily the expense uh, and the fact that the lawyer never teaches you how to use it. Listen to my audios on, on the YouTubes or get my How to Use a Trust uh, ebook. Uh, that's free to you. Just click on whatever it is. And hey, don't forget to uh, make a comment for me below. Tell me what you, you, you want me to, t to talk about. I'd love suggestions on that. So uh, give me the comments. Uh, give us the likes and the loves and all of that sort of stuff. And don't forget to get the How to Use a Trust ebook. This is Lee Phillips. I've been talking about advantages or why use a living revocable trust.